Disney has said, here's some money, now go direct a Star Wars to Ron Howard as the Da Vinci Code director has stepped in to helm the upcoming Han Solo film. Lucasfilm officially made the announcement this morning with the company's president Kathleen Kennedy saying, at Lucasfilm we believe the highest goal of each film is to delight, carrying forward the spirit of the saga that George Lucas began 40 years ago. With that in mind, we're thrilled to announce that Ron Howard will step in to direct the untitled Han Solo film. We have a wonderful script, an incredible cast and crew, and the absolute commitment to make a great movie. While the takeoff was apparently rough, the Millennium Falcon's crew will resume shooting on July 10th with what I'm expecting to be heavy reshoots. The spinoff is still set for a May 25th, 2018 release and will be coming to a galaxy very, very near you. Laser Swords! Also coming next year, and notably not a long, long time ago, is the Jurassic World sequel, which now has an official title. Unfortunately, it is not the very obvious The Lost Park Jurassic World. The sequel to the 2015 blockbuster will officially be called Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, revealed via a new poster bearing a very familiar tagline, Life Finds a Way. Life, uh, finds a way. That tagline is all the more fitting as Jeff Goldblum is is uh, set to uh, return as Dr. Ian Malcolm, who was last seen in The Lost World. The kingdom will fall when the Jurassic World sequel hits theaters on June 22nd, 2018, which is way too long. Must go faster. Meanwhile, a new challenger approaches. Trunks, the half Saiyan, half human son of Vegeta and Bulma with the prettiest hair of any Dragon Ball character, has officially been revealed as a Dragon Ball Fighter Z playable character. Trunks joined Cell, Frieza, Gohan, Goku, Majin Buu, and his papa Vegeta in the recently revealed fighter coming to PS4, Xbox One, and PC early next year. A closed beta for the fighter is coming later this summer to give players a taste of power levels over 9,000 from the developers of Blaze Blue. Dragon Ball Fighter Z isn't yet coming to Switch, but the game's producer has said if there's enough interest from fans, the game could come to Nintendo's new platform. So start composing your tweets now for Android 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. That's your daily fix for June 22nd. Now that you're caught up on the news, check out our feature pointing out the top 10 games that were missing from E3. I really miss them, you guys, like a lot. With that, I'm Naomi Kyle. Don't forget to download the upgraded IGN app, and remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.